Alright guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys on how to create a SIP account and use it on your computer to make free phone calls. Um, so, as you can see, you just have to have a couple of things. You are going to need a SIP client, which you can download easily from Counterpath. I will include a link on the sidebar to their Xlight. Once I am going to be using their paid version called uh, iBeam. Alright, so it's really easy to use and set up. You just go in and you set the settings. So here it is. As you can see, it registers. It takes a couple of seconds, though. You know, it has to discover the network and go through. Alright, once you're there, you just dial in your number and you go ahead. I'm going to call a friend of mine, Mike, in a couple of seconds for proof of concept. However, I did not record this. This is actually a narration afterwards on top of it because the audio did not record, which is not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping to not have to narrate it. All right, but as you can see, the green is my friend talking and the red is me talking and as you can see I'm speaking to him saying hello and he's waiting to respond saying hold on a second and yeah pretty much that from there as you can see I'm talking and there's volume bars right next to him for the input and output the main difference between X light and Counterpath's iBeam is that Counterpath's iBeam, which is the actual official name, supports up to six lines at once. X chat or X light or whatever it is does not. So yeah, pretty much that. I know I'm I goofed up the name, but it happens, I suppose. So, what you're going to do is, after I called him, you know, I talked to him, told him pretty much basically the same thing, only lasted about a minute. Just going to move it over there. And I'll, now what you're going to do is you are going to need for this a SIP account, which I am going to be using internetcalls.net. There's a couple of them, like VOIP Cheap, VOIP Pro, VOIP Buster, just, just so many. I'll include a link on the sidebar to a big list. Even though I put internetcalls.net, call, internet it goes to .com. <laughs> Whatever. I actually did, if you look closely, it's just internetcalls.net. So all you do is you type in a username your password for it. I use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Confirm it. And I am going to use a gag email, George W. Bush at CIA.gov, I believe I did I used. Not gonna go through. And then all you have to do is type in the um captcha should say that it registered in a few seconds of loading. Only takes a second. There we go. Now you're going to go and click the down arrow and go to options or SIP accounts or whatever and I'm going to add an account. Just by clicking add then you're going to throw in your, your display name. I just use my name then the username that you registered, then the password, then the username again, and then you're going to want to use sip.internetcalls.net for this specific. So it's sip.thewebsite.extension. And it will pretty much load up and go through. You can start making calls. As you can see, I added another one. So I'm just going to close this in about a sec, and I'm going to show you a big list, 
that I will include in the sidebar of these videos. So it just And that was pretty much it. I was just listening to some music while I waited. Just go to Google and type in SIP and it'll show you pretty much what SIP stands for. Now what you're going to want to search for is free SIP provider. It's the first top one. It'll show you SIP Center or SIP It'll show you a pretty big list of free VIP SIP accounts. Now here's another alternative. It's one of my favorites. You go to iCall and you pretty much run through it, download it, use it. It gives you about 10 minutes. It gives you actually a voicemail service built in. You can access it from the software from on the web or from your iPhone if you have an iPhone. I don't understand why you'd need this for your iPhone if you have, you know, the iPhone, but whatever. Um, if you're asking, because I might have forgot to mention this, but on the website, you are going to have to click Mac and Linux users, click here. It's just a link, don't download their software. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for uh, watching and bull uh, crap and uh, nothing to say. <laughs> Turn on the music again.